Hi everybody, it's Tina. Welcome to my video today, you guys. I'm gonna do two lives today. You're probably wondering, like, what's going on? It's like nine o'clock, like, what's happening? This isn't like our live time. I'm gonna do two lives today, you guys. I'm gonna do one right now because we're gonna talk about a bunch of stuff. And I was gonna talk about it during my regular live. But I feel like then if I do that, my regular live where we are creating is gonna be a thousand minutes long. So I thought I'll just do two lives. Hey, Chris, I'm going to share with you guys all of the stuff that is retiring that I'm personally losing. And let's do a fun giveaway. Okay. What can I give away? I'm going to do a fun giveaway. I want you guys to guess how many stamp sets I'm losing. So what that means is we have the retiring list that came out. All of these things that are highlighted are not things I'm losing, by the way. So nobody try to cheat and start counting these. <laughs> so what that means is the retiring list came out and I went through all of my stamp sets and I pulled all the sets that are retiring. So let's have a fun giveaway. I want everybody to guess how many stamp sets I'm losing this year. And then we'll do like a fun giveaway. I'll have something to give away. And maybe we'll do some other fun giveaways because I just am in a fun mood. Okay. Oh, so Chris said 50. Okay, so we're going to go through, I want to share with you guys all, I guess you guys could count though, like when I start going through this, hmm, how should I do this? Maybe we'll do guessing right now. Okay, let's do guessing right now. And then I'll tell you guys, and then we'll go through all the sets. Because if I start going through all the sets, you guys might start counting. So I want to show you guys what I, what sets I'm parting with. What set I what sets I decided to keep for um even though they're retiring, there's a little handful of them. And then let's go through what's retiring. Because I know that the list, like going through this, where'd I put it? Going through this is driving me crazy. And in fact, the way I pulled all of my sets um, is I actually opened up the new catalog on my iPad and I went to the index and then I just went through all my sets and then I would see if they were in the new catalog because this was driving me crazy. Okay, so let me find something. Let me grab something to give away. I'm still here. Nobody worry. We're going to do some giveaways today. Okay, so the first little giveaway I have is this little album. And it already has paper in it, so you could just put some photos and stuff in it. So that'll be fun. And there's some enamel dots. And then I have a stamp set and two ink pads. Okay, so that's going to be this giveaway for the guessing. So has everybody guessed? Everybody guess. I've seen lots of guesses. And somebody nailed it on the head, the exact number. I've already seen it. Okay, and then I'll give this way at the end. Because if you're here checking this video out, you're dedicated. Because it's going to get real here in a minute. Okay, so the number, I don't see any other guesses coming in here. So the number of sets that I lost is 52. And I believe Marty said that. 52 beautiful stamp sets gone gone out of here moving them on out so I'm gonna set this aside I believe it was Marty who said 52 so I'm gonna set that aside for you okay so let's get started I'm gonna go through the occasions catalog first because I want to show you guys the things that are right away retiring that you may want to get okay I think the lighting is okay I think the sound is okay you guys tell me if it needs to be different and grab a cup of coffee and let's dive in um so the reason I'm doing the occasions catalog first here is because I just want to point out there's some stuff that has retired that is going to be the easiest for you guys to get um, and probably the most exciting because this is relatively new product, right? So this retired right here. I'm not keeping it. And then this is the other thing about the retiring list. 
some of the stuff that's on the retiring list isn't actually retiring. It's going in the new catalog. So I want to point that out too to you guys. So all of the bundles in this catalog are retiring. So if you want to save 10% and bundle your stamp set and your die set together, um, you will want to do that now before the bundle expires. So even if like this right here is in the new catalog, but it's not, it, the price is higher. Does that make sense? And then all of the paper, paper embellishments, everything, all of that has retired. I'll point it out if it hasn't. There's a few things that made it into the new catalog, uh, but not very many. Okay, so this retired, this is no, this will be gone. So when it sells out, it will be gone. Um, I got the framelits and I will keep using the framelits because they're cute. Um, but the um, stamp set is gone. This retired. And all of this retired. All of this retired. This did not. So this is what from the occasions catalog that I purchased, this is what carried over for me. So I'm going to move these stamp sets into my regular, I'm going to rotate them into my regular um, annual catalog product and I do that alphabetically on my shelf. So all of this I'm just going to put on my shelf and then I'll put everything up. When we're done here. So this carried over. Oh no, not uh, to having to hold. No, this did it. I'm sorry. This did not. This did. Um, but again, it's not bundled together. So just be aware. All of this stuff retired. So this is why I wanted to do this first. We can chat about this. Um, there's some really amazing product items in here that are retiring. So all of this is retiring. I did not get this stuff. So I feel good. Like, I feel like I didn't get this. I didn't love it. I don't have to make a decision about it. So this carried over. So this is going to be in the new catalog, but none of this is. I did get this bundle and I really loved it. This is carrying over but the, it will be a different price. So the stamp set and the punch will carry over. It'll be in the new annual catalog. Let me get this like in frame. I keep moving it. All of this retired. This retired. Um, incredible like you, I believe this retired. I believe it retired. All of this retired. This is in the new catalog. I'll probably get that one. All of this retired. The paper, the stamp set, these carried over. So these, which I bought like a thousand of them because I didn't know if they would carry over or not. And they did. So these are in the new catalog. So yay for that. The punches retired. This embossing folder, the dot to dot embossing folder, retired. All of this retired. And then this made it into the catalog, thank goodness, because it was an investment. The well said. So the dies and the um, stamp set there. It stayed. Um, this one retired. However, I'm keeping this one. So let me show you guys what I'm keeping. I always keep a little handful of things. So I'm keeping Amazing Life. But what I will do is... I will take it out of its package. I always keep the little clear... Hey, Becky. Hey, Tammy. I always keep the little clear piece. I will put that back on the back. I will fold this. I will stick that behind there and I will grab a clear pocket. Let 
I'm gonna grab a bunch of these out because I'm gonna be doing this. So I'll grab a clear pocket and I will put this stuff in here. And that is how I keep a little bit more retired product than I used to because I can make it flat. So instead of having to store it in this, I won't, I'll do that. So I kept this, I'm gonna keep this because I love it and it coordinates with the rectangle stitched dies. Um, this retired, but I'm keeping it because I love it. This retired, so this is the jar set. So we'll do the same thing. There's my little clear piece. There's my other clear piece. This is Jars of Love. And I love this set. It's really a great set. And it's photopolymer. That's the other thing that really makes me decide if I will keep something or not. If it's photopolymer, I know I'm going to be able to store it easier. So... Yes, I can leave a link. Are you still there? I got a call. I get these on Amazon. I get them in a set of 100. It's the same um, envelopes that I use for my dies. Let me get this in here. Okay, so it's the same envelopes I use for my dies. The thing about these dies is they're not as heavy as the Avery L envelopes. So my dies, they tend to, um, these tend to, the sides tend to tear. So what I'll do is I will grab the link on Amazon and I will link them for you guys. You get them in a set of 100. And I love being able to store my photopolymer that I really want to keep in these. Okay, Lovely as a Tree has retired. This is like a shock to my system. This stamp set what, um, is, this, is a stamp set that has been in the Stampin' Up! catalog. It's the longest running stamp set that Stampin' Up! ever had. I think it was in the catalog for like 12 or 15 years, something like that. Uh, there's always a bet that um, Wendy and I do every year where we bet, you know, one of us will say it's leaving and one of us says it's going and then we see who's right. And um, I'm always like, it's going to retire. Like this is the year it's going to retire. Um, and she's always like, it's going to stay. So it's funny. It's something we've done for years. And so it went this year, it retired, but I'm keeping it because for one thing, there's just stamping up history with it, which um, I just have to have like I kind of hold on to pieces that are kind of like that like are sentimental and then also it's a beautiful set and so versatile so if you have not picked this up and you've just felt like oh like it's always in the catalog I'll wait I did that for a couple years and then I got it last year because I was like I have to have it and I've used it a ton um so if you haven't picked this up you'll want to pick it up um, it's item number one, two, seven, seven, nine, three. So make sure you grab that one. So I'll keep that one. Bike ride is retiring, which I was a little bit shocked. It's a good set. Oh, and my little, oh yeah, there it is. I was going to say my clear piece didn't make it in there, but it did. And I've used this one quite a bit. So I want to go ahead and keep it. And I feel like the kids would um will use it like the bike stuff um this like I feel like Kayla would use it when she's crafting and um when I I'm in the process of doing video tours of my studio and there will be a video that shows you where I keep retired stuff it's a very tiny shelf in my office and um I keep only 18 years, Daisy said it's eight. Lovely as a tree was in the catalog for 18 years. Ooh. Or maybe she, d I, I don't know if she know. You'll have to tell me, Daisy, because now I don't know if that's comment was what that was about. Um. Anyways, I'll do a tour of where I keep my retired stuff. So Bella and Friends is retiring. I will keep this because this is Angie Judah's 
$1 million stamp set design. So in Stampin' Up! when you design, when you hit a million dollars in in career sales, you get to help design a stamp set. And she helped design this one. And I personally have a little um, thing where I like having all of the million dollar stamp sets. Like I feel like they're collectibles. So I'll keep that. And then this one is retiring. The coffee cafe set. And I kept the one that they, that coordinated with this, the Christmas one. I kept that one. This one has dies that go with it. So I feel good about keeping it. Like I feel like it'll be very, very um, useful. I'll probably still get it out. Um, now that's the other thing is, you know, a lot. I just went through all my retired stuff before I did this. And I pulled out a bunch of stuff that I'm going to go ahead and let go of. Because I've just not used it, right? I didn't, I didn't use it like I thought I would. So I also do that. So these are all the items that I'm keeping. So we'll set that aside and we'll carry on. Okay. So the rectangle dies made it into the new catalog. So they are there. I'm so thankful. Hopefully I don't spill this coffee. This retired, the desert one. This made it into the new catalog. This did not. This did not. Yeah, the coffee set is great for... Um, those kinds of like the gift cards and stuff. Yeah, I just use it a ton. Um, so I want to keep it. This retired, which is right here. And you guys, I never used it. Ugh, I can't believe I never used I might set it aside and try to use it. Um, but the punch and the box and the stamp set, it's all going. But the dog and the cat set made it to the new catalog. So I was glad I got that. Okay, so this made it into the new catalog with the punch, but all of this stuff retired. Um, these adhesive back sequins, I'm pretty sure made it into the new catalog, but the paper um, is gone. When it sells out, it'll, it'll be gone. Um, all of this retired except the blends. The blends will be in the new catalog. This retired, I have this, I have not used it yet, and I, I'm going to try to use this in the next, like this next month. I really wanted it because of this card, and then I haven't used it yet, but I, I'm gonna try. I was hoping it would make it into the new catalog. All of this retired. So the die, the um, stamp set, the paper, um, the buttons, the old olive linen thread, all gone. This whole suite of product is gone. Um, this all retired, and this retired. This made it into the new catalog. So I know Chris is ecstatic about this because this is one of her favorite sets. And she's done amazing things with this set. Um, really beautiful things. So the stamp set and the die made it into the new catalog, but they're not bundled together. So they'll be more expensive to get. These made it into the new catalog. The paper retired, but these um, made it in and um, the die and the stamp set made it in. This is in the new catalog. I don't need to move this. I keep wanting to move it. This made it into the new catalog with the dies. And then this made it into the new catalog. So this is one that I have that I have not used. And so I'm glad it made it. This made it, and this is a million dollar stamp set, and it was designed by Janet Wakeland. And so um, it made it into the new catalog, and I'm glad that I picked it up. The ribbon, this ribbon, the metallic ribbon, it did not, but I can tell you guys that this ribbon, do I have any left? I do not. Is this it? 
Nope. Okay. Do you guys remember last year's, not this year's holiday catalog, but the, it might have been this year's holiday catalog. Let me look. There was a black ribbon that made it back into the catalog. Oh, it is. This ribbon right here is in the new catalog. And this ribbon is gorgeous. I loved this ribbon. So this black ribbon is in the catalog. And I'm sure that it is kind of in replace of this ribbon. Does that make sense? Maybe I'll leave this holiday catalog out. We might need it again. Okay, this retired. I'm sad about it. I'm keeping the, I might keep this one. It's at the very bottom of my pile. And I'm sort of on the fence about whether or not I'll keep it or not. This made it into the new catalog. And so did this along with the dies from Celebration. So that's amazing. This retired, this retired, and all of this retired. And then the host sets retired. So that's the occasions catalog. That's a lot, right? That's just one catalog, guys. Um, I can show you in the holiday catalog what made it to the new catalog, to the annual catalog. This is in the new catalog. This punch and this set, I believe, are the set that is in the new catalog. So this punch did not retire. Now I have to try to remember because I, I wasn't really focused on Christmas stuff. I think this did. All of this stuff is retired. This retired. Oh, I need to pull that punch. Okay. Oh, I should pull my punches. That retired too. I didn't think about that. I have I had a couple that I was pretty sure retired. This retired. Um, the cookie cutter, which was sad. This is in the new catalog. This is in the new catalog, which is nice. Did I get that one? I can't remember. I need to go through all the stuff that I have setting aside that I've pulled. I think I'll probably try to do that this weekend because I can't remember if I bought this or not. All of this retired. This is in the new catalog, the Buffalo Check. This is in the new catalog. I think that's it. And then that ribbon is. Yes. So those are the two little ones. Okay, so let's chat about some of the stuff in here. Okay. So let me show you the stamp sets because that's what's easier for me. Visually, it's easier for me if I see the stamp sets. So that's what I want to do. And then we'll chat about the, the catalog. Okay, so let's just start bringing the piles over. Let's bring it on over. My mom was mortified when I was like, oh yeah, like I lost 52 stamp sets. Like I'm pulling all my retired stuff. She was like, what? What is this about? I'm like, welcome. Welcome to my world. Guys, welcome. Come on in. Grab a cup of coffee. Okay, so these are all the stamp sets, and I'm going to go through them. Then we'll go through the catalog, and we'll look at some of the other stuff that's retiring, okay? So, of course, we always know. Let me scooch this over. We always know that all celebration items retire. So, hello, cupcake. Painted Season, So Hoppy Together, Part of My Story, All Adorn, and Home to Roost. These are all celebration items that I always know that um, are going to retire. And um, I don't know that I'm always sad about it. 
right? Because I always know. So for sure, home to roost, all adorned. So hoppy together. Hello Cupcake, I know for sure I'm just getting rid of. These two, I'm not sure yet. Because there's dies that go with this that I have, and then the punch coordinates with this, and I like this for Project Life. You know what, you guys? Let's just be cutthroat about this. I'm going to get rid of it. Gone. Gone. Let's move on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, so here's the stuff from the Occasions catalog I already went over. Um, Bloom by Bloom. Dear Dolly. Let's set that aside because I haven't decided yet. I'm going to, I'm getting rid of this one, but I'm going to set it aside because I want to use it. I haven't used it. So. Then these have dies that go with them, with it. And then this one. So typically I don't get rid of my dies, but I think I'm going to get rid of some. Typically I keep all of my dies because it's an investment and I love my dies. So I don't typically get rid of them, but I think maybe I'll pull them you guys and we'll go through them. This is kind of fun to do with you guys. So this is Wood Words. It's in Wood Mount. Some of this stuff too, you guys, I got for free. Like a lot of the stuff I get for free. Like this I got for free at an event. Um, so like this, like I would never choose Wood Mount, first of all. Which is how I can remember that I got it for free. Um, I like it, but I'm going to get rid of it because it's Wood Mount and I don't like Wood Mount stamps. Um, Lift Me Up is gone. But I can tell you guys there's a new hot air balloon set that is gorgeous. So here is Lemon Zest, which has a punch. So I'm going to get rid of this, even though it's cute. I'm going to I'm gonna do it, you guys. I'm going to get rid of it so that punch can come out of my stash. Look at this. Pressed flowers I barely used. I used two of the stamps which I'm so sad about. And I thought about keeping this, but I just, I'm never going to use it. Um, this one, I only used the happy birthday. So this one's gone. This one I never used really. I don't think I ever used it. I got it as a bundle and I wanted the dies and never used it. Then never used the stamp set. This is Happy Birthday Gorgeous. It's photopolymer. Uh, picture Perfect Birthday. Gone. Springtime. This was a host set. Okay, this one, Sheltering Tree, I love and I've used a ton. But I think I'm just, I think I just got to do it and get rid of it. Um, this, all the good, I cut my stick. This one I feel like maybe I should keep because of the sentiments. Let's set it aside. Um, all the thanks, gone. Gone, gone, gone. Okay. Then I have a paper pumpkin stamp in here. I think this was from the Christmas one. I don't know. It was just shoved in my stamps. Okay. So this is a good day. I don't even know how this one made it into the annual catalog last year because I couldn't stand it. So glad this one's gone. Uh, banners for you, which looks like I used like two out of this. Yeah, I like used one. This one might be a good one to, no, no, get rid of it, get rid of it, done. Okay, this is Better Together, has lots of great sentiments. Balloon Celebration, I think, retired a million years ago, and I think I just accidentally left it in my stash. This next one I'm sad about. This is Sunshine Sane, and I'm going to have to set it aside. Maybe I'll keep it because it has amazing dyes that go with it. Swirly Bird has dyes that go with it, and I don't think I ever one time used this stamp set. Not one time, you guys gone and treat time coordinated with what did it coordinate with a punch or did it coordinate with die oh it coordinated with dies I remember so all this is gone okay 
we're on the home stretch here of stamps. Thoughtful banners. Retiring. This one is retiring and it has a punch, I'm sure of it. Doesn't this one have a punch? Yep, right here. So this is photopolymer. Technically, I could keep it. I do love the... I love the sentiments. And it has the punch, but I think I just got to let it go. Yeah, I remembered, Chris, that it coordinated with the dye, the sour cream container. Um, birthday banners. This is bubbling over. I feel like I'm not sure if this has dyes that go with it. But I think I'm actually going to let go of the dyes. This one I'm sad about. Country living. And I really, I only ever used the truck. And then I'm really sad about follow your dreams because I just got it. Which, hey Christy. Which set? This one, the bubbled over one. Did you use that one a lot? I know, I feel like it's really versatile but I feel like I just got to be cutthroat and get rid of it like I just got to do it I just got to be like done I think I'm even going to do the dyes while I'm while I'm doing this I feel like I'm on camera I'm being brave and I'm like yeah let's get rid of it so I think I got to do it I think I got to keep going I'm sad about this one but honestly I didn't ever really use the stamp set I used the dyes more um eastern beauty done goodbye never liked that one um, this one is sad because it's great for uh, Project Life, but we're gonna be we're gonna do it. This falling flowers, look at this. Never used it. I don't even know why. I don't even like it. So I don't know why. Did was this with a bundle? Was it with dyes? Did I need the dyes? Like what was I thinking? Not my favorite set. Loved this fabulous flamingo. Loved it, but done. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. Okay, where can I pile this stuff? Okay, so then this one has a punch, which let's just pull that punch right on out. Um, where is it? Right here. Okay, so this is gone. And then also this punch is gone. And I'm going to pull that out to get rid of that. I'm actually really happy to see that I'm able to pull some punches out of here because... Um, I did some reorganizing the other day and I was like, I have too many punches. This needs to stop. Of course, I'm getting new punches from the new catalog. So, And then this one, I the only reason I bought this one is because of the sentiments. And I've never used this part, but... Um, Oh, I know, Christy. I did that 12 by 12 scrapbook page with the flamingo. It was cute. I did love that one. Um, I think I'm going to keep this because of the sentiments. Because it's the only reason I got it. And it's the only thing that I've used it. So here's what I pulled out of that retired stuff that I'm still thinking about. I feel like these three are great for the sentiments. I feel like I am getting rid of this one, but I want to do some projects with it because I haven't really used it. And then this one I'm really on the fence about because it has great dyes that go with it. And um, I kind of like it. So let me grab my dyes and let's go through the dyes. Let's just do this, you guys. Let's do it. Okay, and also let's go through embossing folders. Let's do that too. I'm in the mood for spring cleaning and getting rid of stuff. And then I'm also going to pull out... Too much stuff and I never use it. 
I'm feeling really overwhelmed by all the stuff I have. Okay, so let's start with, <laughs> who remembers this? Can anybody tell me, do you guys remember this? What this is before I tell you? Anybody remember what this is? Can you guys see? Retired stuff retires so we can buy new stuff. That's the, that's what I was telling my mom. She was like, oh my gosh, um, Christy nailed it. Fry box. Do I keep it? You guys, it's so cute. You know what? I could buy a digital thing on my silhouette and not keep this big die. Like it's time to let go of it, right? Like let's let go of it. Um, my mom was like, oh my gosh, that's so much retiring. The thing is, is that new stuff is coming. Like we have a whole brand new catalog of beautiful stuff. My policy is I get rid of retired stuff because I don't have the room to keep it. If I kept every single thing I purchased and because I purchased so much because I sell it, um, I, can't, I just can't keep all of it. So I just have to be cutthroat about it and get rid of it because I want to buy new stuff. I just want to buy all the pretty things. Oh my gosh, thank God my husband's not watching this, you guys. I'm not selling anything right now. I will sell my retired stuff. Um, I'll be doing a sell of um, some stuff that's older. I can't sell anything that's retiring out of the, this catalog for an entire year. I have to wait for a year. Um, but I have a whole, right under my desk, I have an entire thing full of retired product that I am going to be selling. Um, and you guys will know about that. So, um, that's the reason things retire and the way they pick things that are retiring are, yeah, like probably some aren't selling great. Some we've just had like, um, like this sunshine saying, I mean, I think we've had this in the catalog for four years now, three or four years. Um, I remember when it came out. So some things are just, they've been in there a long time and it's time to like rotate through kind of thing. So, um, that's why. So I'm going to get rid of the French fry box. I'm going to do it, you guys. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to get rid of the box. I can buy a digital cut file on my silhouette and, um, and then I don't have to take up the room. So then there's this one, which is one of my favorite dyes ever. I love it. It's the leaves. I've done so many projects with this dye, um, especially in the fall time. I just feel like the size of the leaves are so great. So I don't know. I'm going to have to set it aside. And then who remembers this dye? Somebody's got to remember this dye. Who remembers it? I'm going to give away a set of cards. I'm going to give away five handmade cards to the first person who can tell me the name of this die. Oh, Christy did it. Top note die. That's right. Christy, I'm sending you five homemade handmade cards. So I'm going to get rid of it, you guys. I love it. But you know what? I could find a digital cut file for this. Done. Okay. So then I have the mini treat bag. Thinlet. The gift card. Thinlet. These are all like 3D boxes type thing. The baker's box. Oh my gosh. That was so cute. Okay, cutie pie, this box that was the pie slice, gone. I've never used it. This was the thin lit circle card, never used it. It's going away. Oh, and look at the curvy keepsake box die. So I think I'm going to keep these four, you guys. This is the curvy keepsake, the gift card, the mini treat bag, and the baker's box. I need to write down because I'm going to, I'm going to start doing some giveaways. Let's do some giveaways. Let me grab a sticky note. Okay. So was it Marty that guessed the right, mm -hmm. the right, um, number of stamp sets I lost? Whoa. I have lots of sticky notes. <laughs> it's been my 
and she's getting the ink pad and stamp set. Okay, and then Christy is getting some handmade cards from me. Nice little package in the mail. Some happy mail. Okay, so we're going to start doing some giveaways. Okay, so those dies I'm going to do. Let's get rid of them. Okay, let's do some really old embossing folders, and then we'll go through the dies. And I'm going to give some of this stuff away, you guys. I'm going to give it away. Okay, these are really old embossing folders. Really, really old. Like, these are Cuddlebug embossing folders. And I feel like... I keep these because when I used to do my Cricut and I used to create little critters and things, it was like having a, the embossing folders. It's like I just felt like you can never like, like this is like the a perfect like alligator or like animal like, huh. But I'm going to pull some of these that I never use. Oh, the birds. Like, see, this is like peacock fe feathers. Uh, this is like snowflakes. Okay, you guys, get ready because I'm going to give away a, a bunch of um, embossing folders. This one, see, I have like two of these, but I love it so. Oh, the world one, zigzag I don't care for. Look, this is a Stampin' Up one. Ooh, I must just be in the mood to get rid of things because this is cute. The snowflake. And these are some larger ones. Ha! I bought this. I've never used it. You guys, I've never used it. I had to have it. I mean, I bought this like 12 years ago. Good grief. Cute, cute. Okay, so those are really old ones. These are the ones I'm going to keep. These are the ones I'm going to give away, and we have more to go through. So now these are Stampin' Up! ones. So I'm going to keep this one. I don't really like that one. I'm going to keep the wood grain. My favorite subtles. Um, the butterfly, I'm not... Yeah, I'll keep that one. The Falling Hearts. This one's These are pretty standard. I feel like this one I love. This one, Retired. And this one I love. Okay. Put those in there. I feel like this one I'll keep. And then here's... I think these are like mostly current. This one I think retired, but I love it. This one I think retired, but I love it. And then these are just standard polka dot floral. See, there's another one of those. I use all these polka dot, yeah, stripes. Yeah, all these I use. Okay, so these are all the ones I'm gonna give, give away. So let's see, how can I do this? How can I pick somebody? I'm gonna randomly pick somebody for this giveaway. And we're going to go with Christine. Christine, uh, last name, K-I-E-H-L. That's who's getting this little bundle, if you're still here. So if you're still here, comment, and then email me at katinamartinez at live.com for your address, and I'll get these sent out to you. Okay? So let me write that down. Christine K. Embossing folders. If you want them, or you can say pass. If I don't hear from you, then I'll be choosing winner, winners. Okay, like I'll choose other people. But we're gonna get, we're gonna do some, a couple other giveaways. Okay, so you guys ready to go through the dies? This is kind of fun doing it with you guys. Okay. Okay, so. This stuff is stuff that has not been, um, like it's stuff that I've used and I haven't, I haven't put it back. 
So let's do that really quick. They're sort of semi-alphabetical. But like all these are S. So we're just going to pop these into the S. These are L. We'll pop these into L. And this is at the end. Okay. Let's first go through retired. These are my Project Life dies specifically for Project Life. And I don't think I'll be getting rid of any of these. Nope. But I can look at how sad this is, you guys. Are you ready to be sad? I'm going to show you something that retired that I'm devastated about. And you're going to want to get this. If you don't have it, you're going to want to get it right away because I'm devastated. Okay, are you ready for this? Hey, Linda from California. Okay, these retired, you guys. How sad are you? And these are going right here in my Project Life stash with my number ones that I was devastated when they retired. So all of that. So I just have these stickers. And I just stick retired on here when something retires and I just keep it in the same envelope. And then I move it into a retired section, but just in case I ever pull them out and I'm using them and I'm not sure. So these are Project Life specifically that I use for my Project Life stuff. And we'll put those numbers right back in there. I'm so sad about the letters. I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't even get it. Okay, so then here's retired dies. And let's see if we can get rid of any of these. I'm going to get rid of these. These are the Alpine Adventure. It matches a stamp set. These, oh, I never use them. The banner I got to keep. The butterfly I got to keep. The build it I got to keep. I love these um, balloons. But is it worth keeping a whole framelit set for balloons? Oh, I got to keep botanical bloom. I got to. I got to keep the baby one. This, I can just cut paper. Like, why do I need dyes for that? I don't. I don't. Let it go. Let it go. I'm not going to start singing for you guys. I should, right? Um, cool treats I'm going to keep. <sighs> I've never used these again. But they're just so versatile. Shock talk these tags. Let it go. Let it go. These are my favorite labeled tags. Dress. Remember these dress framelits? Um, I've been thinking about letting go of this stamp set. Let it go. Let it go. I'm going to keep this, the t-shirts. Sometimes I do projects where I just use the die. I don't necessarily use the stamp set. But if I'm putting together like a 12 by 12 layout or something, I'll just use the dies. Um, so versatile. I hate to get rid of any heart framelits. This window framelit. Uh, I'm going to let it go. Look at the mustache. The leaves. Okay, if I'm going to, I got to do, look you guys, which one do I keep? I got to let go of one. This is ridiculous. This is craziness. I'm going to let go of this one because it is bigger. It takes up more room. Then I'm going to get rid of this. I know you guys are having a hard time seeing what I'm, I'm out of room. Okay. Then I feel like ovals I'll keep. This I'm going to get rid of. It goes with a stamp set. This is the pillow box die. I have to keep that. The paisleys. I'm going to get rid of it. Popcorn treat container I got to keep. Rose wonder I got to keep. The rainbow I got to keep. Squares. Oh, this is that sliding card. I'm going to keep it. Starburst. I'm getting rid of. Heart. Can't get rid of it. Sunburst. Can't get rid of it. Thoughtful branches. I'm going to let go of this and the stamp set. Okay. So let's see what I did. Did I do enough? Mm. 
Where's my retiring die slot? Okay. And then just in full transparency, I do have a handful of dies from other companies. Um, I have some rectangle, some circle, and some hillside from Lawn Fawn. And then I have a mini heart set from um, Simon Says. I have a camera die. This was actually sent to me by a um, fellow crafter who follows me here on um, my stuff. And then I have these stitched lines. So a lot of stitched stuff from Lawn Fawn. And then I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because I've never used it. And we have that camera set coming out. I don't know. Like I just, but I like to tell you guys like what I really have. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Now this is annual catalog stuff. So I have a little box and I have annual catalog and then holiday catalog. And then here I have Project Life dies, retired dies, and then other company. Okay. So what I'm feeling really good about is the fact that I have a lot of room here. I've gotten rid of a lot of dies that I can now put in some retired stuff. <sighs> don't don't remind me because I might freak out and stop getting rid of stuff. Okay, and then I have this random die. Okay, so let's start going through the annual catalog stuff here. Okay, so animal friends, that's staying in the catalog. Okay, so this goes to that banner set, and I think I'm going to let go of it because I let go of the stamp set. This Broadway one, it carried over. Here's the bike one, and I'm going to keep that because, remember, I'm keeping that stamp set. So this can get moved in. Butterfly stayed. The stitched hearts, remember that um, all of that retired, but I'm keeping this because I feel like it's too versatile not to keep. Oh, the bottle. <coughs> So here's the question, you guys. Do I keep the dies that go with this? If I'm letting go of the stamp set, do I let go of the die? The dies, or do I keep them? I'm going to keep this, even though I'm letting go of the stamp set, because they're so, like, I just, I do projects like that. Um, the bouquet bunches that stayed in the catalog. This retired, and I don't even know what it goes to, so I'm just going to let it go. Coffee is staying. Crosses stayed in the catalog. I'm keeping um, any word dies. Colorful season retired. I use it a lot. Okay, so then here's the dolly thing. I got to set that aside so I can decide. Um, dare to dream retired. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Cause I'm letting go of the stamp. I know Linda, I know, I know it's really hard, um, to get rid of stuff. It's not easy. And I do have a little keepsake pile of, um, this one didn't Christy. This one didn't. What? Are you positive? I can't look at my catalog right this second. Are you positive? This did not retire? Just the stamp set did, but these stayed? I gotta wait for Christy. Um, she has the physical catalog, so she can check. And she was out on stage. Um, and the stamp set? Oh, I didn't buy the stamp set. Okay, okay, then I'll put them back. Okay, so be mine stitched stayed. Okay. Um, I'll trust you. Okay, awesome. Okay, and the stamp set did. So you guys, I made a mistake. Let me show you guys because I told you this retired. Thanks, Christy. Um, so this stayed. This is in the catalog. And this stayed. Meant to be. And the stitched Framelits stayed. 
So just so you know, make that note. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So I know it's hard to get rid of stuff. And I do like, I mean, you guys saw the set of dies for my retiring stuff was pretty large. So I have a really hard time getting rid of dies more than anything else. But I just think if I really haven't used it, it's like my thing with dies is if I haven't used it in the last year, am I really going to go back and use it? Stamp sets are easier for me because I'm buying so much new stuff. So I just feel like I don't have space to keep it. If I kept every single thing I ever purchased, and I have a really good size studio, so um, I just feel like I really don't have time to go back and use stuff anyways. So it's a little bit easier for me. Okay, detailed birthday. I am getting rid of this stamp set, and so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the dies. Okay, so here's the deal. The Dragonfly stamp set, I never really used, but I use the dies all the time. And the dies you can really use without the stamp set, so I'm keeping them. I know Chris said you should get rid of the dot. You should keep the stamp set and the die set together, like if you're getting rid of it. But, um... Like, in this case, I just can't do it. Like, I feel like I use the, and I'll use that on, like, layouts. And I like to do sometimes where I do kits and then I include retired dies. Like, I'll die cut stuff and include that. Um, I'm getting rid of this. I never liked it. I don't think I even used it. Flourishing phrases stayed. Happy birthday stay. Oh, no, wait. I don't think this stayed. I don't think this happy birthday stayed. Christy might be able to confirm that if she's if if you're still here. Everyday jars. See, oh, I kept I kept this. I kept the stamp set. Okay. So let's move it on over. Okay, Eastern medallion's gone. Never used it. Forever lovely stayed. Oh yeah, we're still in alphabetical order. Um, the gate, I'm going to have to double check on this. Birthday is gone. Okay, so this, yeah, retired. I put it in the retired set. Okay, I got to check on this because I think this coordinates with a stamp set that stayed. I think this coordinates with um, a big thank you. And I know that stayed in the catalog. Maybe not. I got to double check on this. I got to double check. And I think this goes in the stitched heart thing. Gosh, those stitched heart stain is fabulous because there's so many dyes. Okay. Uh, layering ovals, layering circles. All this stayed. Layering squares stayed. Thank goodness. Okay, Mayflowers, retired, but it, there's a stamp set this goes with, and this isn't anything fabulous, so I'm just going to let it go. This goes with that treat stamp set that I couldn't remember right off the top of my head. It makes the sour cream containers, but it's too much work to use the dye to make the containers. Painted Season, remember this was the hard one for me where I was like, do I keep it? Did I just decide to get rid of it? Let's do a giveaway with this Painted Season dies because I bet a lot of you have the Painted Season. So if you're here and you have the Painted Season stamp set but you do not have the dies, I want you to um, leave a comment. Like just do a comment and do like an emoji. And I'll pick somebody from that, from those people to give the dies away to. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, puzzle pieces stayed. Pocket framelit stayed. Oh my gosh, Chris, did you see the stamp set that coordinates with this? Um, with the new, like it coordinates with the dies. It's so cute. Seasonal layers stayed. Stitched shapes stayed. Stitched rectangles stayed. Stitched labels stayed. Sunshine wishes. I'm not. I'm not getting rid of. Um. 
Okay, so I'm going to set those aside. Okay. Let me get some space here. Okay. I think I'm making good progress, you guys. Okay, um, supported ribbon. I don't know, Christy, are you still around? Did this make it into the new catalog with the stamp set? I feel like it did. Swirly Bird is gone and I'm getting rid of it. Oh, I didn't know I had these. <laughs> I got these and then I didn't use them. These are the Happy Together and they coordinate with the frog from, from the, um, from celebrations. Oh, okay. The framelit stayed, but Patty's stamp set is gone. Okay. Well, I need to pull that then from my stash here. I thought it stayed. Okay. So ribbon of courage, you guys, um, did not stay. I will keep it because it's a Patty Bennett, um, did this for her million dollar career. Um, career stamp set and I she demonstrated I was at the event where her stamp set um launched and she demonstrated it and um see she signed it so you know I'm gonna keep it because it's a million dollar set so I need to keep it okay so the framelit stayed but her stamp set went um stitched squares all of this um, all my stitched, all the stitched stuff stayed. Okay. These snowflakes retire. Oh, they are retired. I already have them marked. The, um, tea time, um, dies stayed. Somebody tell me, did these framelits stay? I know the stamp set stayed. So did the framelits stay up, up and away went away. <laughs> So funny. Um, I cracked myself up. I'm going to keep these because there's great pieces in there that I can use with other projects and not need the stamp set. Okay, so these stayed. These coordinate with that wood mount set and it's like the wood crate. I'm going to keep this because it's cute and it's the wood crate. And then well said stayed. You guys, look at that. Boom. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And we haven't even gone through the holiday holiday dies yet. Okay. So then real quickly, I'm going to pull out holiday. Is that all from the holiday? Yeah. And then... Did this stay? I, did, I asked somebody and then I don't know if I if it stayed or not. So I'll have to reorganize these because I'll have to do them alphabetically. But um, I was able to put all those into my retiring dies. And I feel good about that. Like I feel like I got rid of enough to justify the ones that I kept. Yeah, look at all this space for new stuff. That's what I'm saying. Okay, snowflake dies I have to keep. I cannot, cannot get rid of them. Okay, then we have Brightly Lit Christmas. I'm getting rid of it. It has the, like, light pole. Okay, so it did stay. Is that what I'm gathering? So it needs to go. Or did I get rid of it? Um, it's the Gatefold Blossom. It goes with Blooming Bouquet. I'm going to get rid of this one. The stamp set didn't make it in so I'm gonna get rid of it I'm going to keep this one the so let's just put these back here dashing deer I'm gonna keep falling for leaves gone uh, fall feast these pumpkins are weird. I don't like the shape of it. Gatefold. Okay, so that's gone. So this is gone. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, Heart Comes Home is retired. 
Now this is where I have to make sure if it's retired and I'm keeping it, I have to mark it because I don't, I keep all my holiday stuff at the same, in the same place. Okay, keeping that. Hang your stocking, I'm keeping um, Holly Jolly, keeping um, this uh, holiday ornament, keeping, and then this one I'm keeping, but it, it's current. Um, this Mary Tags, keeping, I'm keeping this cookie cutter one. It retired, but I cannot. See, holiday stuff's a little bit harder for me. I tend to keep all my holiday stuff. Night in Bethlehem is retired. Ooh, my sticker's on the wrong side. What is that about? Okay, retired. Okay. Keeping, this one I'm keeping. The pumpkins are so cute. I'm getting rid of this. It's, I don't like it. I'm keeping the tree one. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, snowflakes I keep. And then we put snowflakes here. The lantern I'm going to keep. This one I'm going to keep. This is the, um, it has the snowman and the penguin. Yeah, we do, Iona. If you have the catalog, you know what made it into the catalog. Everything that's not in the catalog retired. So we know. Just look in the Christmas section of your catalog. Um, this one I'm going to keep. I use the ghosts all the time. The mitten one is cute. This is the takeout box, and I'm going to keep it, but I'll. it's not holiday. I'm going to move it out of there. And then this one I'm going to get rid of. This was the wreath one. Okay. Dude, I'm on a roll today. Okay, so this needs to go into retire. Oh, but I need to mark it retired. This is over many, many years, Reba. A lot of years. I've been doing Stampin' Up! now for seven years, and I rarely go through my dies and get rid of anything. So this is over many years. So all of this is going now. I cannot believe it, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so stinking excited to be getting rid of stuff. Okay, so let me show you what I have left. Okay, so what I usually do, this is retired. Let's see if you guys are in camera here. This is holiday. Okay, this is how my dies look when they are in, and then these go right here. Like there's room in my, I keep it in my Ikea cart, my rolling cart. And um, this is how my dies look, okay? So they're labeled. So annual catalog, holiday catalog, project life dies, retired dies, and then other companies, okay? So what I do is when I get new dies, I put them here, like right in front, so when I start getting new product from the annual catalog, I will put my dies right here. And actually, I can pull out, because I already have some magnetic sheets ready for new product. Okay. So I'm going to put these right here so that when I get new cat catalog product, I can just... Um, Pop them in here, and I'll actually make labels for the ones I know I'm going to buy already. I'm getting ready to make labels for all the new paper, and I'll show you that if you guys want. And then I'll make labels for this stuff, too, so it's just all ready. And then once I use it, after I use the new stuff for a while, I'll stick it into my annual catalog place. Then, when the holiday catalog comes out... I'll put holiday catalog dies here while I'm using them until I rotate them back in there. That way I'm using the stuff I'm purchasing. Okay, so um, this just sits in my rolling cart. And it's right by my big shot. And the only other thing that I have in there is my envelope liner framelits. Okay, so I'm going to put this back and then I'm going to show you what I do with my paper. And then that, that'll be 
um, all the, that'll be it until I get back on here to create with you guys, which may be right away. Okay, so let me put all this back. Okay, and then let me put my embossing folders back and then let me grab my paper and show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do two more giveaways. I have some paper here that was from my paper, where's that paper? Maybe only one more giveaway. Is this it? I had a bunch of paper share. Maybe I maybe I put it all away. Okay, I'm I'm I am gonna do two more giveaways. I'm gonna do a giveaway of paper because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this paper is retired. This paper is retired and this paper is retired, okay? So this is what I do. This is where I keep my paper. This is gonna be the cheapest organizational system you've ever seen in your entire life. This container, I have a ton of these all over my craft room. These you can get from the container store. They come in small, medium, large, and extra large. This is a medium. It has a handle. They are like literally $2.99, $3.99, and $4.99. They're super inexpensive. It's called a multi-purpose bin from the container store. This has all of my current 12 by 12 Stampin' Up! designer paper. Okay? I took the piece out of the designer series pack. So this is just the little piece that comes. It tells you what the paper is, what it coordinates with. I put an Avery index tab on the top and all of these, cause I'm losing all of this paper. I'm going to pop all the tabs out and I'm going to make new tabs for all the new paper. Now that I know the names of all the new paper, I am going to make um, tabs for them. So then what I do is I just take 12 by 12 clear bags and I put all of my designer paper into these. Okay. You can see this one's ripping because there's so much in here, but like that paper's gone. This paper's gone. Okay. So I'm going to take all of these tabs out because I'm gonna make new tabs. Like I don't have the paper yet, but I'm gonna make the new tabs. And all this paper is gonna get cut up and it's gonna get given away. It's gonna go in boxes to get sold. Um, I will keep a few things if I really love it, but really, honestly, you guys, all of this is going away. All of it. I don't, I cannot even keep all of it. I can't do it. Okay, then this way, when I get new paper, I will already, oops, sorry guys, sorry. I will have places for all of this already, and I will be able to pop it right in. I always say organization is the key to happy living. Okay. So I have all of these tabs. We have 19 brand new papers coming. Do you guys want to see some new paper? I may have some new paper to share. This is going. Now my occasions paper, I have some projects coming up. So I'll need to use some of it for certain things. But otherwise, going, 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 gone. Okay. So now in here, I have my annual catalog paper, then I have a big piece of cardboard, and I have mini catalog paper, 
and then I keep window sheets and kind of specialty paper right in the back. And then I have a couple clear bags and I'll take the clear bags and reuse my clear bags out of this and I'll just stick them in the back here to get ready for paper. Okay, and I see some paper fell. It's a great time to clean this out. What's the deal? Oh yeah, right here. See this? Like, let's get rid of all this. Oh, look, tea time paper from a million years ago. Haven't used that. Okay. So. Okay, so for my last two giveaways, what I'm going to do is after the live is done, I'm going to pick two people randomly and I'll send you guys a little prize packet. Some handmade cards and some fun product, maybe some paper. Okay. So all of this, so just make sure you comment with your name, say hi. If you want to share this video, that's great, but this might be a boring video for some people. Like they might not want to watch all this craziness. So I'm going to pull this out, pull the paper that I need to use, and then I will um, cut up the paper that I don't need and um, be ready for new paper. Okay, so who wants to see brand new paper? Because I have some of it. And then I'll go ahead and, let's see, what time is it? Oh yeah, I gotta get off here because I gotta get my project ready to stamp with you guys. Okay, so we'll do this really quick and then I gotta go so I can jump back on here. Okay, so this year I'm so excited because I'm doing my annual paper share and there's 19 new papers coming out in the catalog. And this year I'm doing something really fun. I'm doing a pajama party. So if you purchase the paper share, you're going to get 19 card kits to coordinate with your paper. So that means you get to make 19 cards with your brand new paper and we're having a pajama party and some special guest stampers. If you're part of my team, you get a special price. And then the price for the paper share only is $79. You'll get all 19 papers all packaged up real pretty and the 19 card kits. And then there's an option to get two stamp sets with that kit from the brand new catalog. Okay, so let's look at this paper and then I will go and then we'll do some stamping. And I don't know the names of these papers because I don't. <laughs> They're so pretty. I got a little sample from a friend. That's how I got all this, you guys. I got a little sample from a friend. From my paper dealer. <laughs> Too much fun, right? So there's that. This is a, I think this is from the Peacock set. We all need our paper dealer, right? <laughs> and it's double-sided. I should have been showing you guys the other side. This is the mosaic, I know that. And it has some, um, like a fun finish to it. Like, a, um... oh gosh, I wonder if my phone is gonna make it through me stamping. So pretty, right? The colors are so pretty. So you guys, really, I promise you, you want to do this paper share. It is going to be so much fun. We're having giveaways. There's going to be two all attendee giveaways. So you will get two fun giveaways. One is an exclusive giveaway you can't get anywhere else. Um, and we're very excited about it. You will get a PDF of all of the cards that we're going to make and the measurements. You will get recorded videos for it. It's a fantastic, fantastic, um, what's it called? So this isn't all of them. This isn't all 19. Um, this is my favorite. We got to look at this. This is the, a new bundle. <coughs> So beautiful. It's a fantastic value to sign up for the paper share. Okay, I'll leave a link. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump off here now because I have to...
get ready for the live. I'm going to leave a link in this um, set in this for the clear envelopes and then also for the paper share. And then I'll have two more giveaways and I'll just randomly pick a couple people um, to get some fun stuff, okay? So I'm gonna end this live here. I'm gonna plug in my phone for a few minutes. I'm gonna get my stamping project ready and then we're gonna stamp, okay? So let's do that and I will be back um, to hang out with you guys in just a few minutes.